Quasi here, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you a very, very powerful way to completely transform your reality through first designing it and then synchronizing it. So what we're gonna be talking about is thought markers and thought forms. Before I begin this video, I wanted to announce quickly that I'm doing a free giveaway of my book, Life Mastery. Just comment Life Mastery down below to be enrolled in a competition to win this book at the end of the week. You can get this book for $12 on Amazon or you can just comment Life Mastery down below to win this book at the end of the week. Also, I want to quickly announce that I'm still doing the free consults for the Reality Mastery program. And if you're interested, wait till the end of the video for the announcement on that. And with that, let's get started with this video. Now in this video, we're gonna talk about thought forms and then thought markers. And these are linked together and these two work together to create your reality in a powerful, powerful manner. Now, the concepts of this video are also discussed before in affirmations and confirmations, so definitely check that out. But basically, this video is from a concept taken from a book called Reality Transurfing and then subsequently Tufti, The Priestess, written by Vadim Zeeland. And if you didn't know what reality transurfing was, it's basically a powerful way to create your reality and manage the events in it. And it's written by a Russian quantum physicist named Vadim Zeeland, and he had a series of epiphanies that led him to writing this book. So with that, let's get started and you know really understand what thought forms and thought markers are. So a thought form can be defined as an affirmation, but it's basically a larger than it's larger than just an affirmation. It just is a short paragraph that sort of initiates a new design. So whatever reality that you want to create for yourself, whatever it is that you want to create in your life, you write it down in a form of a thought form. And it's just a short paragraph talking about who it is you would like to be, who it is, you know, what it is you want in your life, what's happening in your life, what you know you want to become. So this is changing your character and subsequently placing your character in its ideal reality. So the thought form, what it does it is, is it launches a new reality, the reality that you would like to experience. Now, every single thought that you have is never organic. There is no such thing as an organic thought. Thoughts are just data in, data out. Anything that happens in your mind already exists somewhere. And you know it's probably part of some alternative space or an eternity archive, as Vadim Zeeland calls it in his book. But it's already been there and it will always be there. And you can only connect and attune to the sectors that are perceivable to you in this alternative space. Some sectors are not, and that's completely fine. But the sectors that are, that are perceivable to you, you can attune to. And that's where this thought form comes from. Any affirmation that you write, you've probably experienced something. Any desire that you have, you've probably experienced something that led you to having that desire. Does that make sense? So this thought form is written in the form of a paragraph. And right now, I'm going to give you an example of a thought form that I use. What you want to do before even moving forward with this video is just pause and write down this thought form. But before you do that, let me read out my thought form to you. Mine is, I am a successful entrepreneur and coach. Clients are always seeking me and my services. My videos reach thousands and money flows into my life with ease. So this is my thought form. And you know, I recently just made this maybe a couple months ago. And as soon as I made this, you know, I launched a new reality, a reality in which I'm a successful entrepreneur, successful coach. Uh, and I do this full time, et cetera, et cetera. My videos are reaching thousands. Maybe I'm going to upgrade this to hundreds or millions. Whatever you want, just write it down in the form of a thought. Don't worry about whether or not it's believable or not, but you're just launching a new reality by writing down this thought form and repeating it to yourself, you know, systematically every single day. So I do this, I do my affirmations, so to speak, last thing before bed, first thing in the morning. And then I launch this new reality every single day. And as you live your day, it becomes just the process of confirming all of these events that are unfolding. So that leads us to thought markers. So after you've launched a new thought form and you've launched a new reality and you're moving in that direction, whether or not you realize it, you are, 
what you must do in the forthcoming days is scan your reality for proof of this. And this is crucial. Scan your reality for proof of this because turns out there is proof somewhere. I promise you there is going to be a little bit of proof somewhere because the nature of reality, the nature of life is very inert. Whenever you try to visualize something, it moves very slowly. But in dreams, you know, if you get into a state of lucid dreaming, you can just control everything effortlessly. But in life, it's just inert. In reality, it's inert. It's very uh, material. Like this is very material. So it's difficult to cause manifestation and move it really quickly until some sort of alignment is there. So you want to notice the changes that are happening. So you want to scan your reality in the forthcoming days of proof that whatever thought form you put out is actually manifesting the way it should. So for me, you know, if I say something like, oh, I'm a successful entrepreneur, successful coach, and then someone shows interest and signs up, you know, for my program or signs up or at least, you know, show some engagement in one of my videos or send me a message on Facebook saying, hey, you know, I really enjoyed your stuff, blah, blah, blah. Then I say, ah, look, it's happening. I'm actually a successful coach. Clients are reaching out to me. People are reaching out to me. Aha, this is what's happening. And then whenever I sign my first client or first few clients, that what I did was, wow, this is actually happening. This design is working. So what the thought marker is, is kind of like a bookmark to this series of events that are unfolding in your life. So now you're creating your reality and you want to find proof that it's happening because without this, the synchronization process doesn't occur. The proof is the way to create synchrony and the thought marker is the way to complete this thought form and just adjust the design. So you're just creating a design and launching it out, but there is no adjustment, no iteration to it. So as soon as you put a bookmark in there and then you say, ah, look, it's actually going the way I want it to. Then you create this bookmark, you create this synchrony, you create this adjustment and iteration to the design and it helps you propel more and more towards the direction you want. So after you actually confirm your new reality becoming, you want to either adjust your thoughts to your thought form to put in new thoughts or more powerful thoughts or you want to continue with the same thought and just say to yourself, it turns out that my reality is manifesting the way that I want or it turns out that I am actually becoming a more attractive person. It turns out that I am actually becoming a successful coach. Wow, look, this is actually working. So give yourself a reward and give your reality a reward for things going your way because most of the time we are very quick to express our dissatisfaction with reality And we never really express our gratitude to things when they go the way that we want them to. So essentially, a thought marker is just that. It just creates a bookmark and then you can adjust and iterate the design and it just consolidates that initial design you put in. Now, without proof, the mind won't want to believe anything. Ideal scenario is that your heart and your mind come into alignment. If you want to propel yourself to your final goals, always look for proof in your reality that your actually becoming this version. So the real question at the end of the day becomes, who are you striving towards? Who are you becoming? And that's why I also offer the Reality Mastery Program, which is based around the identity level shift that one can experience. So if you use thought forms in conjunction with thought markers, then you'll see that the process of synchrony occurs. And if you use your affirmations in conjunction with confirmations, then you'll see the synchronization occur. And with that, you can move forward and propel yourself to much larger goals. So always understand this, that thought forms launch the design, thought markers consolidate the design. They create synchrony in the design with the intended design. So with that, I'm going to conclude this video. And just to recap, a thought form is just an affirmation or a short paragraph showing who it is you're becoming. You know, if your goal is to become more attractive physically, you say, oh, I'm, it turns out that I am a, f-. no, you say actually that I'm a physically attractive person and no matter how old I get, I, I have this glow about me. People are just magnetically attracted to me, something of the sort. You write down a short paragraph and then you read it to yourself systematically throughout the day, whether it be first thing in the morning, last thing before bed. And, you know, you might want to change it up sometimes because it might lose flavor. So ideally, I want to change it around every two to three months. And when you change it up, make it the same goal that you want to manifest or whatever your goals you want to manifest. But remember, once you do make this first affirmation, 
you know, on top of feeling good about it, you want to, in the forthcoming days, scan for proof in your reality that this is happening. Then it becomes a confirmation and it actually consolidates the design and becomes this thought marker. So you're putting a bookmark in reality that, hey, this happened, this is happening, this is happening. So with that, you can powerfully influence your reality and manage the events in it the way you want and create your life the way you want them. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this. Leave me a comment and remember to like, comment, even after you've left the comment, and then subscribe and hit the bell. Remember to hit the bell because then you'll be notified of the new videos that I'm putting up. And also, I'm excited to announce that I'm growing a massive Facebook group where I'll be sharing all of this kind of stuff and we have really, really great members who are contributing amazing value. So if you'd like to join, just click on the link in the description below and I hope I see you there. I'm excited to announce as well, as I mentioned before, that the Reality Mastery Program is open for enrollment. And what the Reality Mastery Program is, is basically catered to the most powerful paradigm of manifestation, which is the becoming paradigm and the being paradigm. You'll notice that everything in this universe is in a constant state of unfolding and becoming. Nothing ever actually becomes its ultimate potential because then once it becomes its perceived ultimate potential, it goes on to become more its ultimate potential. A caterpillar becomes a butterfly, then it becomes something else. It dies and then, or it, it just, the atoms spread and deteriorate and then they become something else. Everything is in a constant state of unfoldment and becoming and coming into existence. The real question becomes, who are you becoming? And that's why I developed the Reality Mastery Program, which is basically an identity shifting program based around the principles of this identity shifting. Because I found that everything that I manifested in my personal life was all a result of who I became, who I embodied, which version I embodied. When I embodied the version of myself that gets a 4.0 GPA, then I became a 4.0 GPA student. When I embodied the attractive version of myself, I got my dream girlfriend. When I embodied the healthy, you know, fit version of myself, I got a six pack ab, you know, I got ripped, I got into the best shape of my life. When I embodied becoming a more social person, I started getting more friends. When I embodied becoming uh, the successful entrepreneur who quits his nine to five and follows his passion, then I became that version of myself. So at the end of the day, the real question is, who are you becoming? Who would you like to be? What reality you would like to experience and subsequently who it is that you would need to be to experience that reality. And in the Reality Mastery Program, we strategically develop a system to help you get there and become. Because no one really tells you how to be. People tell you how to do, how to do, how to do, but not, to, not how to be. So if you're interested, definitely click on the link in the description below to schedule your free consult with me while it's still up. And this will be around 45 minutes to an hour long where we're going to diagnose your current law of attraction practices and see how you can implement identity shifting into your life right now. So I hope I see you there. Till next time. Peace.